all right go ahead and search for advanced startup options and then click that from the results so now where it says advanced startup go ahead and click restart now so now right away you are going to see this blue screen that gives you additional options great so now at this point go ahead and click on troubleshoot and then click advanced options and then click on ue5 firmware settings slash bios so now at this point windows would automatically boot to the ue5 or bios and it is from this point you'll be able to change the video ram for your pc so now once you have booted to the bios or ue5 it should look different depending on the computer you are using it looks different for every single one but normally where you would go to find the option to increase the vram is you would go in advanced features or something and then look for the video options and then after that you can increase it incrementally okay so what if you just don't see this option it's just not available in your uefi or bio settings well in that case you can mm. fake vram so to speak let me show you what i mean here so go back to windows and now in the search button search for registry editor and then choose that from the results but wait 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 hold on now before doing anything in the registry remember to back up things first so go ahead and click on file and then export your current registry settings very important all right after doing that go ahead and go to this location right here which i have in the video description so you can copy it from there and then paste it into this search bar and then hit enter and bam there you go so now right click the intel folder and then go to new and then create a new key and then you are going to name that gmm great so now go inside the gmm folder and then right click to create a new 32-bit value so you are going to name that dedicated segment size and then you are going to give it a value of eh, around 512 and then click ok so doing this trick will help in case you are running into low video memory issues when you are using your app or game but let me be honest with you those two ways i just showed you may not really work for you in fact you may hardly see any improvement in performance the reason is because the best way to increase vram is by using a dedicated gpu why a dedicated gpu comes with its own memory designed specifically for graphics its own printed circuit board its own fans and so on so invest on that instead for more videos like this subscribe and thanks for watching